our way closer and closer to the finals. This is a 16-man gauntlet where both players must battle their way to the finish line and then play tug of war with each other's hearts. We are going to go ahead and jump on Cloud Kingdom Ladder Edition. Let's go ahead and introduce our players. The young man, the young sexy Spaniard, is going to go ahead and scout on the bottom left, La Tortuga. That's short for turtle. Now on the top right, we are going to see Sanctum. We saw him before, but we're going to see him again because we liked what we saw. Sanctum number X51. That's 51, I think. It's going to go ahead and be the... I just messed that up. Okay. Cut, cut, scene, cut, everyone. We gotta do it again. All right, are you ready? Okay, action. Okay, action in three, two, one. Roll the film. Welcome everybody, my name is BCM Palomino and we are gonna go ahead and jump onto Cloud Kingdom for our second set. Spawning on the bottom left of Cloud Kingdom is gonna go ahead and be Sanctum Yellow. And proud of it. And on the top right, we are going to see none other than La Tartuga. Purple. He's purple. Which has nothing to do with his sexuality, mind you. <laughs> the finals are going to be star jeweled. Indeed, good sir. Indeed. So we are going to see this good old fashioned overlord saying, I does what I want. I does what I. Now, this overlord knows exactly where his opponent is. So he's going to feel pretty confident moving over to the third. I find a nice little situation right around here to keep an eye. Um, I'm very, I'm going to be very interested to see if... Ooh, very interesting pylon placement going down here. I wonder if he's going to make a wall to his nexus. Or exactly... It, it mu this must be some kind of wall to his nexus. This is going to be very interesting to see what La Tortuga wants to... How Tortuga wants to do this building placement. This overlord says he does what he wants. He knows where to go and he's going to be safe doing it. We are going to see Nexus at about 17 supply pylon. Nexus, this is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Fast Nexus is going to be just about just about the same time. Let's look at the let's look at the production bar. These expansions are just about at the same time. Very beautiful forge going to go down at a reasonable time, just about 17 gateway and we are going to see this wall to now I actually thought he was going to make it like this but there's no room to really do that but yeah this is really beautiful this is really beautiful this is essentially how you would try to wall off on a map such as Metalopolis or um or how you could wall off on a map such as Shakuras on these on these wide open expansion map um wide open natural maps very beautiful. I love this a lot. And one thing I really like about this double pylon power is going down, as well as the pylons are uh, situated a little back. So any roach aggression, any fast roaches will have a l will have a little more a harder time than usual to uh, go ahead and snipe this pylon power. Very nice, man. We'll have to see what happens after here, but we are going to go ahead and see. Six lings on their way to the natural. One cannon is down. These lings might want to try and swing around. But if if good old Sang if good old Lotsartuga sees this, he may have to pull off some drones to try and keep this because he actually can't build anything on here because of this silly supply depot. Maybe he could squeeze like a gateway here at the last second and hold it off with a zealot. It is going to come out now. Going to be. Gonna be uh, gonna be a nice. Now it looks like these are gonna be a nice barrier to keep them alive from any ling aggression. Now it looks like these lings are actually purely for defensive. We're not seeing these lings moving out across the field at all, and this is really interesting. We are we of course did see the reaction to the reaction that Sanctum wanted to do is just put down a fast third. Very standard, very safe. There's no reason to overextend yourself if you know you can get away with this three base economy because with all the races that's what it's all about is getting to that three base economy and once you're there if you can keep that three base economy you are extremely powerful you have the resources you that are necessary the gas that is necessary most most of all to go ahead and make those end game nasty armies or to go that greedy nasty tech 
So we are going to see the upgrades going down just about simultaneously. We may see a plus one sort of zealot aggression going down, but however, we are going to see the robotics facility go down first. I really want to know if the timing is going to work out, if he's going to go ahead and put down maybe two more gateways and put on, try to put on some aggression. But right now with these six slings, Sanctum has two towers. His overlords are going to have a lot of vision right now with this fast expand, and this is a very fast expand. Sanctum has the vision of the entire map, and he's going to know if any probes want to venture out into the wilderness and try and put down a proxy pylon. Oh, I love this wall, though. I really do like this a lot. Well, I'm going to change the nick just for you, Paul, Paulimo, Palomino, my turn to say sorry. What are you talking about, Yogi? Yogi the Bear, what are you talking about? So we are seeing these zealots moving on out across the map. They are going to go ahead and try and capture this watchtower, I do believe. We're going to see an epic battle between Lings. It looks like the Lings want to save their life. They see exactly what's coming at them. Let's take a closer look at Zerga McFerguson. Nice saturation going down at the natural domain. Of course, it is just about saturated as well. Three bases of saturation. Two, oh, actually, instead of double evolution chambers, we are going to see an evolution chamber and a roach warren as good old Zerg McFerguson maybe moving into a roach bust. I mean, yeah, into massive roaches, but we do see these six gases are going to be about up. Are going to be about up. A lot of spine crawlers coming down. These are safety. I think we are going to see a rush to the spire going down pretty soon. Three, three spine crawlers a little safer than a lot of Zergs would want to play. Which makes me think he wants to do some greedy tech behind it. We'll see. I like this walling he's doing. These buildings are all in a very specific spot. And here comes a war prism. Oh, here comes the war prism. He knows that this war prism isn't necessarily going to be seen. As he does have the power of the tower. One immortal and two sentries are going to take this. Are going to go ahead and be in this war prism. It looks like he does want to put the pressure onto the natural. And he could actually, he could actually kill this... Uh, Swanning pool, which just finished with the uh, with the speedling upgrade. Oh, and here we go, moving right into the natural. These force fields. Are we are we going to see just zealots moving in? The zealots, the powerful units. Now we do have plus one. Very very nice and cool engagement going down here. How many lings? How many? Ooh, can we get one more force field going down? Well, it looks like all he wants to do right now, La Tortuga wants to snipe this hatchery, and there goes your late... No, that's just a hatchery. That actually did not get upgraded. It's going to go ahead and pick up the power units, including that sentry. Those zealots are going to be sacrificed for the greater good, but man, that hatchery went down so fast. Wow, I'm really impressed. And it looks like he might want to do the same thing at the natural, actually opting to move back out. Now, here's actually where the lair was. That's really, really uncommon. Well, it may not be as uncommon as you think, but considering the majority of people would put their layer here, that's very, very... I don't know if that's lucky or if that's safe. I have seen people opting to put their layer here, and the reason that I've heard for this is that if you lose this hatchery at any time in the game, you you might as well just GG. You might as well lose if you lose your natural. So you might as well put the layer here. It'll give you more hit points. And either way, if you lose that hatchery, you're going to be out of the game or you're going to be in a really bad position as you will be forced onto one base. So it looks like that kind of thinking might have brought, given Sanctum, a really nice uh, really nice advantage as he doesn't have to rebuild that tech. This this did, it did, he did, he was able to snipe a hatchery. And here's the sexy spire. We've seen this before. I love this. I love it when players do this. This is beautiful. Oh, that's no problem, Yogi. You can spell my name wrong. I don't mind. I don't mind this at all. So we do have, uh, we do see Protoss still on two bases. No efforts yet made to go ahead and grab that next base. Hi, I'm trying to upload my replay. I'm getting errors saying it is duplicate. Hmm. Right, so we are going to go ahead and what are we looking at here? The Mutatech is officially up. A pretty risky place to hide it, I must admit. 
because a lot of two base aggression Protosses are going to use this lane of avenue let's see if this Protoss does it though looks like he is just going to move right into the spines and try to bust them 17 mutas is this army going to be able to take out 17 mutas this is a beautiful composition here we do have a lot of immortals these immortals are ready for the uh, for the stalkers and i think right now here we go Lots of Tuka is going to go ahead and move around, but it looks like it looks like he is going to be in a really tough position as these mutas are going to go ahead and run into the main. No eye on the map is going to find these mutas until it's too late. And here we go. The spire is going to go ahead and go down, but the spire units are already taken. Holy moly, that's a little loud for my ears. And I think we might see a base race going on here. Na the main is completely unsaturated as the mutas most likely will want to move up into the natural stalkers being desperately morphed in there all these pylons are going to go down this nexus is going down first though the sentry is going to be extremely powerful in combating these stalkers I mean these mutas and it looks like good old sanctum is going to clean up this natural as well all these stalkers are going to go ahead and move to forward to try and take out we might see a little blink battle going on as we do actually have the blink tech third expansion is on its way and this army moving out these immortals and sentries gonna be more than happy to see these roaches wow that's really loud wow that is really loud in my ear and there goes the GG from sanctum as those stalkers are able to contest with the mutas. Paulo, Rainbow, what's going on, Cacnap? All right, we will jump into the next game in just a moment, my lovers. That was the first game of the best of three of our second set of this tournament. <laughs> 